Hi guys, I'm Erica Muse and I am out at Anime Fest with Dallas Geek and I actually have the absolute pleasure of interviewing my friend Dawn from high school who is now an amazing voice actor and she's going to give us a little bit behind the scenes on voice acting. What's up, Erica? <laughs> How are you? Hi. I, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing all right. It's been a fun anime fest. It has. It's been really fun. We've really enjoyed a lot of the panels. We went to the Women of Voice Acting uh, yesterday, and it was just really awesome to hear all of that behind the scenes and everything. Uh, and today's panel was even more phenomenal. Like, you guys are hilarious, and you're also really intense. It was really deep moments, really grinding into the characters, and it was just really, really cool. And she's going to kind of give us a feel for um, how she got into it, and maybe what's your favorite thing about it? Okay, cool. Um, sorry, I needed to prep this. Um, so I got, I got into voice acting in 2014. Um, I went to this uh, convention called Habercon and um, got to meet a lovely director named Tyler. Um, he's the director of Fairy Tale. And um, fast forward six months later, um, I got contacted to audition at Funimation. And so I got in. I got in um, right after college. Wow, so, yeah. just straight out of the door. Yeah. That is so awesome. So what um, what is your favorite thing about it? Um, my favorite thing is like just getting to work in cartoons. Like this is stuff that I used to watch since I was a kid. And like, you know how it is when you were a kid and you're watching anime and like you had some other kids at your school be like, eh, you're watching anime? That's, that's for nerds and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I work in it. So who won? But. <laughs> I feel you there. My, I, I have recently started to actually try to delve into it and I wanted to do it for a long time before I did that. And it was really just because um, I really enjoy playing the characters and running around at the conventions and taking pictures with people and all that kind of stuff. And um, I kind of just want to actually be my next character. Like that would be my ultimate dream to get cast as a character, yeah. to make the cosplay, mm -hmm. run around, people stop me like, oh my God, I love your cosplay. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, I am the character. And I can actually do the voice, you yes, know? Yes. I'd love to spook people. Like I just mm -hmm. really enjoy it mm -hmm. in general. So maybe someday, but yeah. we'll see. Um, so how have you enjoyed Anime Fest so far? I've enjoyed it a lot. Like, um, I, uh, the panel that I had before this was um, Grego's Game Shows. It was my first time participating in one of his game shows, and it was a lot of fun. I was really nervous, but it went really smoothly. And, like, um, my whole convention experience has been pretty smooth. Um, just, yeah, I've just had a really good time. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Did you come to Anime Fest before as an attendee ever? Uh, I've been a couple times. I think my first time was also in 2014 or 2015. Um, same thing. I had a really good time here. It's a, it's a nice place to like have the convention too. Um, the Sheraton's a really good place to have it. Oh, definitely. How how does it feel though to be the person that's behind the table that's doing the autographs as opposed to the person walking around on the floor trying to get the autographs? It feels really surreal because it's like you you go from fans like actually working in the stuff that you get to um that you love and so like i still have that moment where i just stand back and go i get to do this this is really neat yeah um but um also like um whenever i do autographs just getting to meet with these people who have seen my performances and enjoyed it and, and enjoy the stuff that i've done it's 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 very humbling it's like Thank you so much for liking my stuff. <laughs> and I imagine it's kind of terrifying to be the one that is that character and hoping that you're portraying what people are expecting. There's got to be a lot of pressure there. So that's that's got to be scary. Um, but it was it had to be surreal for you, I felt like, because it was kind of surreal for me when I was standing in like the audience waiting to line up and I saw you at your table with the long line and I'm just like, oh my God, that's Dawn. <laughs> so then I was like, that's got to be amazing for her. So it's really awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our audience about voice acting or about um, you know your path to getting there or what it's been like? Um, I would say if you want to be a voice actor, uh, take classes. I wish I would have taken them earlier, like when I was in high school or middle school, like gotten into theater and stuff, because um, after I got into voice acting and went to the studio, I realized all the people around me had so much experience and, and, and skill that, that they'd learned over the years. And I thought, man, I really I really need to like, you know, um, oh, what's the word? Like, like just- Like hone the skills? Yeah, like, like hone my skills. and. and and um, like keep up. And so I would say take lots of classes and just don't give up. Definitely do not give up on it. Like practice and meet people that want to do it just like you and like um, 
yeah, just like learn from each other and build each other, build each other up. Well, thank you so much. That's really awesome to hear. I'm glad you're encouraging them to just really chase their dreams. It's really cool. And it was really great meeting with you here at Anime Fest. Thank you so much for doing this. Do you have a website or anything that you would like to plug for your voice acting? Yeah, uh, you can see my website at donmbennett.com or you can follow me on Twitter at donmbennettva. It's two N's, two T's. <laughs> Thank you so much for meeting with us today, Don, and you have a great rest of your con. Well, thank you. You too.